Welcome back to my channel, Mary here at The Good Life with M. Today I'm gonna to be bringing to you some Amazon home finds. Some decorative, some utilitarian. Um, it's a hit or miss for me with Amazon. Sometimes when I get the package in, it's um, I find that the item is really flimsy, it's not good quality, it's just unsatisfying, so I end up returning it. Um, there are some, however, that I'm pleasantly surprised by, and to this day I still use it, so um, it's, you know, got a lot of usage and uh, people always compliment it depending on what it is. And I'll be sharing what I found with you guys. I'll be um, linking everything that I found down below in the description box. So make sure that you check with that. Um, and this is gonna be in no particular order. So follow along if you are interested and here we go. All right, guys, um, if you hear my son taking a shower, he's playing his music. I had had him turn it way down so that I can film. But anyway, my uh, first share here is going to be probably geared to more Asian households. And it is the Oishi Tableware Rice Paper Water Bowl. It is available on Prime. Actually, everything that I sh will show here will be available as a Prime shipping option. And there comes, uh, this comes in two packs. So what we do is we place our rice paper here in this thinner part and then some warm water in the bigger reservoir. And um, it's really convenient. It's very space saving. And um, you know, if you have a big family, you could put one pack on one end and the other pack on the other end and everybody's happy. So we are avid spring roll eaters. Uh, yeah, we have it quite a bit. So this helps out a lot. My house is filled with candles. I love candles. Anything that uh, scented, basically I love, but I do have a lot of candles. And I did come up with a set. The Sinin, I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Sinin Sinin Candle Wick Trimmer. It just looks a little bit like this. It's very simple. It is a, it looks like scissors, but you can see that it's turned up here so that you can easily go in and trim the wicks of each candle. You want to do that before lighting it because sometimes it kind of um, carbon, you know, that big black ball tends to accumulate on the end of the wick. You want to make sure that you cut that part off before you light it because the candle won't burn evenly. So you want to make sure you trim your wick and uh, before you light it. Um, I did grab it with the um, this candle snuffer or doesn't have a brand, I don't think but it comes in this black sleek design. Um, this allows for it to be a clean process and you don't have to worry about blowing wax on your walls or um, anything else that may be in the way, um, especially if it's right next to the candle, again on Prime. Next is my Arc barbecue lighter with a USB charging port. You turn this baby on, make sure it's fully charged. I used one of the five bubbles up so anyways um, and then you just press this little button here to charge it up and you're able to light your candles uh, very cleanly um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off um, this is very bendable so if for any hard to reach areas you can bend it any way you want and it does come with a USB charger and you just plug it here on the very end and just wait a couple hours for it to charge um, there are some instructions here on the back of the box. Um, now this particular one, I, for some reason I can't find it on Amazon anymore, so I did link a similar one in the description box. So make sure you check that out. Hopefully you guys like it because it's awesome. It doesn't need butane, um, like some of the lighters that you get in the grocery stores, and um, you can pretty much just use this uh, for however long you want. Is, um, my 16 by 20 uh, aluminum frame. It houses an 11 by 14 photo and it has a sawtooth hanger. So it just looks like this. You can see it's very clean. Um, the profile here is very uh, thin and minimalistic. Um, it has an ivory mat and you can see in relation to me how um, a good size that this is and it's just really clean and minimalistic and simple which i really like because i like for the pictures to be the focal point um, i don't like a lot of 
fluff around the edges, if you will. It's good quality. Um, it's not super expensive. Uh, at least, I don't know, it's all relative, okay, so right? Next is this Creative Co-op rectangular wood pedestal here. It's a pretty good size. This isn't a size small, um, but I did grab this to kind of use as a, like a layering piece because um, I don't like everything to be like one level. I like to kind of play up my levels and um, I'll insert a video here of how I use it, but you could pretty much use this for anything, soap bottles, um, vases, plants, what have you. Um, but it's more on the rustic side. So if you kind of like that lived in look, this is a great piece. Um, although it is um, a little bit, I don't know, it looks like it's almost broken down and I'm sure you could probably make something like this yourself, which if you are creative and handy and all that stuff, great but fabric shaver by Evercare. So it's nice and handheld. It has a cover here. Um, it uses two AA batteries and then it has this compartment here that you can remove. And um, oof, I didn't clean it out all the way, but that's what it looks like. And this is amazing. So sometimes my couch pills and when it does, it's I'll use this little piece to kind of help refresh it so it looks like new. Um, I wish I had a before and after photo because the difference is it's immense. I will be inserting a video here, but unfortunately I did clean or I did shave most of the pills off. So you won't be able to see how much it really does a job, but my couch looks almost as good as new. So um, grab this piece. This stuff is great to have. Um, you can use this on your clothing, um, of course your furniture, anywhere else that may pill. Last but not least is this little house um, that covers your tissue box. Um, it's really, really cute. I'll go ahead and insert a, I don't know if I took a picture or video, but I'll insert it here somewhere so you can see how it looks on your um, tabletops. But this um, is another great find. I'm. It is a plastic type of material, but I'm pleasantly surprised because it doesn't look, it doesn't look cheap from far away. I mean, even up close, it looks pretty fine, but this is by Umbra and um, yeah. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you found some inspiration from my videos and that you were able to get a little something out of it. I will have more videos like this in the future. I just need to get everything kind of organized and put together. If you have any more questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comment box down below. DM me on Instagram. If you haven't followed me already on Instagram, I am at the good life with M and I will put it here on the screen somewhere as well as in my description box. Give this video a like, um, share this video, comment, um, and I really hope to see you here. Thanks so much for all the new subscribers. Um, I see you guys, I read all your comments, and I truly appreciate it. Um, without you guys, I wouldn't be making these videos. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you have a good weekend, and I will see you again next week. Bye.